Trigger Spoons, Trigger Spoon Magnums, Trigger Spoon Pros, Trigger Spoon Juniors, Speed Spoons, Speed Spoon Pros. Looking for spoons for your trout fishing adventure? Think FHS Spoons. You can check them out at fishhuntshoot.com. Ready? Woo! Fish on the cripple minnow. Going right for that stuff. Well, he feels big too. I think he's nice. A nice bend in that rod. We were going along about 2.5 miles an hour. And he just slammed it. I don't think I've had the, the baits in the water for two minutes. He hit it so fast I was surprised I had a fish. Still out there a ways. I was down about 14, 15 feet. Hybrid lead core rig. That low rod angle is trying to work him in nice and steady. Wow. Feels heavy. Stand down good. Here we go. We're in the top 25 feet now. Oh, nice fit. Nice fish. Woo. Right there, crippled minnow spoon. He smacked that. Came out in the net. Nice. Awesome. Hey guys, I had a really interesting question from a client this morning. I'm going to share the question, you know, with you guys. He asked me, when the, when the surface temperature is cold, why do so many trout anglers, why do so many trout anglers kind of peg their baits 12 to 15 feet deep? And uh, I had to think about it for a second. It's something that I do kind of knee jerk, but there's a reason for it. Think about a turkey hunter, okay? Turkey hunter's out there, he's in the woods, he's camouflaged. The turkeys can't see him, and that's very important. You know, he wants to be in their environment, but he doesn't want to be seen. And then when the turkey comes within range, he could drop the hammer on him, whether he's using a shotgun or a bow and arrow or whatever. Well, for a trout, that 12 to 15 foot depth range, that's where the sunlight starts to diffuse, okay? And that's important for a predator. Think about a rainbow trout, mottled green on top, white underneath. If that trout is cruising along at the depth where that light starts to diffuse, if a, if a fish looks up at him, he can't really see him. That white belly blends in with the white, you know, background. He's virtually invisible, totally camouflaged from beneath. The same is true if a bait fish looks down at his back. He's camouflaged. He's got the pattern, the spot pattern on his back. He's that green kind of olive color along the back. He's virtually invisible. Birds of prey can't see him bait fish can't see him. He can cruise along there very comfortably and when he spots you know a shad or a pond smelt or anything else he would like to eat he can shoot up from his camouflage position ambush that prey grab it and go right back down into the safety zone right down there at 15 feet where the sunlight's diffused and he is virtually invisible okay. This is something to consider whenever you're out trout fishing. If it's a clear water day, think about the level where the light is diffused, kind of the disappearing point. That's the point where predators love to cruise. If you find a bay, springtime, you get to the back of the bay and you find an area where muddy water meets clearer water, the predators are gonna be just inside that mud line. They're gonna lurk inside that mud line and if they see a bait fish out in that clear water, they're gonna shoot out, they're gonna grab it and they're gonna go back in there. We know this, if you live in the city, you know this, you got a big well-lighted street and then you got dark side alleys down the sides. Okay, where are you gonna find a mugger? Is he gonna be standing under the street light? Of course not, you'd see him and hide. Is he gonna be way back in the back of the alley? Well, no, he's just gonna be back there with the other muggers, cause no one is stupid enough to go back there. He's gonna be lurking just inside the dark in that alley, and when you come by, he's gonna grab you and say, give me your wallet, okay? 
trout have the same mentality. They want to operate under the cover of darkness. They want to be camouflaged and they want to wait until the prey is within easy striking distance. Then they come out, then they get it. And they don't want to expose themselves to danger from above. They're very aware that predators are coming from above, whether it's a bear taking a swipe at them or an osprey trying to grab them, whatever. So it's something to keep in mind when you're out trout fishing. Work those areas, work the disappearing point. It could be a mud line. It could be where the light starts to diffuse. It's just the kind of place where predators like to lurk. You always wanna put your lure outside of that mud line or above that light diffusion point. Put it in a position that makes it very vulnerable to a predator and you're gonna find one of them big old predators on the end of your line. Anyway, that's a quick fishing tip. I will catch you next time right here on the FHS video channel. If you're looking for gear, fishhuntshoot.com. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks for all the support. And uh, like I say, I'll see you soon. Thank you.